guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Rafaela. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs and more. And today I'm finally testing out the new Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. Ever since I saw Tati's video, I wanted to try this. I love Catrice foundations. They are probably my favorite foundations out there. They have their HD... Uh, liquid coverage foundation I believe that's na the name uh, the one with the like little drop thing and that's the best foundation I've ever tried in my entire life that's the only foundation I've ever bought more than one so I finished my first bottle and I got another because that's how much I loved it but today we are testing out this one this is how it looks I love the packaging, it looks very expensive, it feels very expensive. I got this in the shade 10 called Kashmir and it claims to be, let's see, it says here true skin but better, hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil, leaves a perfectly even skin tone and natural matte finish, medium to high coverage with comfortable skin feeling, with a comfortable skin feeling, oh, okay, okay. I hope. Now let's see. As usual, I will be applying this foundation with my Primark sponge and today I will not be using any primer or anything like that so I can truly see how it works with my skin. I have very oily skin, I have a couple blemishes, my skin is going through a rough patch at the moment but it's getting better. I don't know if you can tell but um, I mean, in my last video I was wearing a lot of makeup, so you couldn't see my skin at all, but my blemishes were really really red and just not good at all, you know? Uh, and right now I feel like they are starting to fade, I have a couple scars and stuff, but I'm feeling better. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is even though my skin is getting better, I still have a lot of active blemishes on my face. So let's see if this foundation covers it. Let's go. Okay, so let's put one and a half pumps. One and a half. Okay, it looks like this. Um, it's thick. Not super thick, but it's thick, it's not really running, um, looks good. Now come closer, my friends. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it really covered everything. I mean, let's blend it first, but so far, like first, first impression, um, <laughs> coverage wise, I really like it. It looks super natural, honestly. I feel like I don't have anything on my skin, but my skin somehow looks very good and healthy. It looks very healthy. I'm really, really liking it so far. Anyway, so now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I will powder my face. I will do some concealer, bronzer, blush, all of that. And then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. My makeup is fully done. It's now 2.50. And now I'm just going to do the dishes, do whatever I need to do, and I'll be back in a couple hours to update you guys on the foundation. Okay, so it's been a little bit over three hours now. It's six, five, and I've been to the supermarket and I've been doing some cleaning. I also went to Ikea because of the mask situation. I do feel like my face, like right here, is getting maybe a little bit oily like it wouldn't be if it wasn't for the mask but still i have to say it did pass the mask test 
anyway i do feel like i need to retouch my t-zone so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to use my <laughs> Here's my favorite powder. I'm going to use this is the Kiko Tuscan Sunshine Perfecting Powder. And now I did turn off that light because I don't know, I wasn't liking it in the background. Um, maybe because the light outside is very weird. Normally I do like it there, but anyway, uh, now I'm going to be just doing my thing again and i'll see you later okay so it's now 5 to 11. let's see if it focus here so this is the last checkup so my hair is in a very messy almost bun but not a bun anyway it's up I'm ready to remove my makeup and just boom, go to bed. Anyway, this is the last update of today's video. This is how my skin looks and feels. It's starting to get a little bit oily, but it's still very comfortable. And honestly, it's less oily than my skin would be without anything on it, without any foundation on it. So. I think I just found my favorite foundation ever. This looks so natural, it covers everything in such a beautiful, again, natural, just glowy, but still matte way. Um, I love the feeling of it. It feels like I have nothing on my face, which I love. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Another thing I have to point out is that every single foundation i've ever owned they always sink into my smile lines i have very strong smile lines i i i mean ever since i can remember it just it's just my face <laughs> and this one it didn't it didn't just it's just the tiniest little bit and I don't even know if it's foundation or it's just my skin um, because my skin naturally has a line there um, best 8 euros I've ever spent in my entire life Catrice, just take my money take it, take it, take it I love it anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe if you did make sure to like it do all those things and i'll see you very very soon on my next one